Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna do a little quick save here. Um, yeah, we are on part nine. Yes, part nine of the Resident Evil Village Shadows of Rose DLC. <gasps> hey, it's the door. What's all this doing out here? We are back. We I feel like we are getting very close to the end. This is if you are familiar with Resident Evil Village, this is uh pretty much where Ethan went through to get to the village. In the beginning of the last game. Where the hell am I? I think we are what near is the end. This place? looks like a boss fight if I've ever seen one. Which I have. True Resident Evil fashion. Gotta end it with the ba ba bang. Who's this? Is that Ethan? Oh, that's Rose. What? Oh man, yep, we're getting set up for a, a boss fight. Let's see if there's any. Goodies. Yep. Yep. See that? We gotta look. They're all just like in the castle. Yep, there I am. <laughs> oh Miranda. <laughs> I'm even stronger than before. Well, let me pass. Oh, I have to kill him? I could just subdue them and go past them. Let's go. Sounds like Mother Miranda's gonna pay us a visit. She wanted me to be Miss Ava. <laughs> Is the I need to find that crystal. We're going down to the Mega My seat. I swear, if we don't get a nice, cute little moment in the end with Rose needing her papa. Piece of me came from. It's not weird at all. Someone's been here. Yeah, let's see. Okay. The Mega My Seat absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. The memories that comp comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are tuned to the Metamycete in life retain control of their fac faculties here in this realm. 
This aligns with my understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Miranda is alive. Ooh. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insight. All those years I strived have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete where it serves as source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rebels have proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all of my years researching, Rosemary Winter. She's still trying to get her daughter, Ava. We are gathering. Okay. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that, per that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no powers. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hope of discerning the sources of the interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive, some other actor within this realm, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason nor any of the measly problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm, where she offer she to offer herself as a vessel would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these Rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, but I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform the stress test. Oh. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running ar about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, disposed of her will to live and her amidomycete powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Aw, oh, man. Yep, we're setting up for a boss fight. I'm getting way too much ammo. And bunches of stuff. Oh man, I hope it's enough stuff. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. I'm almost there. Michael. Well, they've never even told you what your dad's name is? It's through here. Black God, which lives in us and which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy but to preserve, and once again deliver us unto life. This is some twisted shit. For real, for real. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. Here's open. Oh! <sighs> Is it? Do you feel it?
saying Agent K or whatever really sent our girl to just like, here, go figure it out and see if you make it. <laughs> so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No. He said, did he? Or Damn. did I? Dun dun dun. It was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! Wait, so it is Eva? Because the last game was Ava. <laughs> Run! They still won't show his face, bro. There's literally a third person view of him. Ethan, you pest! Go! So, the sun didn't even he can manifest. I mean... He can't see you, Rose! No one can. Oh, she's scurry. Rose! Oh my god, we have Ethan! You can't escape! Oh my god, we have Ethan. Me. needed you safe. Oh. Father of the year, everybody. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Nah, it's Rose! Life, bro. Where are we? You can't. Can't you just Don't leave me alone, bro? Ethan, persistence as always. Dad. Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. This man... This man and his screams, brothers. Are you gonna bring it back? What are we doing, BB girl? <laughs> what are we doing, Rose? Rose said, I don't give a don't fudge pop, bro. I've got this. You think your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Foolish. Oh, oh, oh. you were on my throwing them away? I think they just might. <laughs> oh. Don't resist. Uh. Oh, shit, Bob. 
do you understand what you're doing? And even if you weren't, what would be the point? You can't save your father. You are of two different worlds. Why do you fight me? So, is that like supposed to be like my block, I guess? There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. There's nothing to be feared. This is... Why suffer me? took so much to lure you, but you're incredible. Well, oh. Just won't give up. You really are. Red sun that shines inside you makes you the perfect best. Impossible! 
Goodness. Use this. Take her down. <laughs> Let's go, Rosemary. No, Ethan. Oh, I will. Oh, we like her. So much power. You truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva. I'm not a goddamn vessel. Not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. And you're done. Is she like on for real now? Ethan. Hey, sweetie. Oh my god. We're never gonna see his face. You're, you're so corrupt now. Even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you... We never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> so it's okay. Mm, my goodness. So very proud of you. I love you, Rose. I love you too, Dad. All of the feels. Oh, my goodness, that is so sad. And back. Chris is gonna be like, what happened to our sample? Why is it dead? I'm back. That's so cute. I loved it. <gasps> oh. So that's why she went. Mm. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Not that he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. 
he were being silly. I don't <laughs> think that he was being silly. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. Talk of the goddamn devil. <laughs> Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. You don't play with me, bro. I can show bro. you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <laughs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. You only knew. <laughs> we keep down. together, Rose. Mother Miranda. You're a lot like him, you know. <laughs> I know. That was cute. I liked it. That was a really awesome DLC. Ah, it was so good. I loved it. Ah, oh, Resident Evil really good at getting in the feels and really good voice actors and actresses. Awesome stuff. Definitely gonna play this another five times, so. <laughs> I loved it. But uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys thought of the DLC altogether. Uh, all of the other parts should be posted now. And yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, everybody.